I like the whole left side and it's predominantly mid-tone. But the right side, it's mostly that central opaque area that I just don't like. So um, it doesn't have to be a really huge change. All right, so I might try this. Let's see, it's some tracing paper. Okay, so I have this tracing paper. It's 14 by 17. It's the same paper that I use on my cafeteria trays made by Canson. And I just need a sheet of this. Because what I'm seeing um, is, it's, again, this is the area I'm not real happy with, but I really love what's going on around the perimeter. So uh, what I want to do is capture, um, I guess starting up here, I'm going to trace this sort of shape here kind of loosely. Okay, and then I'm going to cut this out of um, newsprint. All right, not sure exactly. So these are the pieces that I I just cut out, which don't look like much right now, and I'm not even sure if this will work, but um, trying to, <clears throat> this is the edge I traced somehow. There we go, I think it goes like that. So I'm, I did this because I want to save a bit of this ochre color, but I don't want to save <clears throat> as much as I have. So, kind of delicate, plus it's sticking to my gloves. All right, and this is all dry, but I'm trying to uh, decide how much I want to save. Right about there. This is kind of part one of the mask. Not quite sure down here, but do this. And then the other part, I had to guess because I wasn't quite sure exactly how I want this to be, but it could be, um,
think part of this is right. This is not quite right. Okay. So now I've covered up part of this ochre color. It's underneath this piece of newsprint. And then this is masking all that. So this is the only open area. And um, this was done with a RNF pigment stick. So I think to do RNF pigment stick on here would be too much. And then the question is, uh, Okay, let's see, this one's supposed to be predominantly warm. So, lighter, warm, lighter, and warm. Okay, we know that much. Um, I'll start with this base color, lighter. I mean, I know that that's, that's lighter, but not by much. Take some white. There was some blue already here, so it's already not quite saturated at all. It's desaturated. Now it's kind of a um, putty color. And so I feel like this is right, but <laughs> I don't know. So I'm going to just grab a silicone tool and at least get the color in there and see what happens after that. So. They're pretty uh, soft, buttery yellow. Sometimes I like to put paint on very thick. Uh, I've got to be careful with this paper here because I'm trying to keep um, the shape. So now I've got that kind of flying <clears throat> blind because I don't really know what this will look like. And it won't look good. I know that for sure. When I first uh, take this off, that's okay. Um, and the reason it won't look good is because um, this is going to be very, very different from the rest of the painting, but that's okay. I'm going to take this off now. And let's see here. Make sure I don't tear the painting. Save that in case I need it later. 
And this little delicate part here. Just going to save that gold color. Remove carefully. You don't tear the painting. Okay, I'm just going to toss this out and then stand back. All right. Um, that's different. Okay, so one thing that I can do, there are a lot of things I could do. Um, okay, I've got the urge to take my, um, this guy, my painter's edge, and just kind of freeform make marks. 